I'm going to share with you a story. A story that began in 1860s and continued for more than 100 years. This happened in the United States of America when blacks were treated as slaves. There was a revolution. They were liberated. They were liberated. They said blacks are not slaves anymore. They have equal rights like whites. And this was not digested well by some of the white people. They felt, how come they can become equal to us? They formed some radical wings. <clears throat> and they started kidnapping blacks and killing blacks. At that time, there was a family, a white family, a white couple, Susan Kawa and Moses Kawa. And in their family, there was a black lady working as a maid servant. And that servant lady had a three-week-old baby. And at that time, these kidnappers kidnapped that black lady and three-week-old baby. So what did this white couple do? Forget about it. Did they leave, leave it like that? No. They were kind. They were, they were a bit concerned. What happened to that lady? What happened to that baby boy? So they went to the village head and they talked to the village head. And the village head went and negotiated with the kidnappers. And kidnappers asked for a ransom. They were ready to exchange the boy for a pony horse. And they agreed. And the boy was saved. Nobody knew what happened to that mother. And these people brought up that boy and he became Washington Kawa. That boy's name was Washington Kawa. And Washington Kawa went to school. And after school, he went to the town and he started supporting himself. Then he went to College of Agriculture and he studied B.S. Agriculture. Yeah. And then he went and did Masters and Ph.D. Till the time in the United States of America, peanut groundnut was a very minor crop but Washington Kawa was a peanut scientist and he developed more than 300 recipes of peanut peanut butter peanut sauce peanut cheese peanut ketchup peanut that peanut this peanut say alaga alaga 300 recipes oh my god peanut can be used in so many ways so everybody started using peanut and then peanut acreage grew and peanut became a big crop in the United States of America and when he was a professor there was a student of agriculture who came to study B.S. Agriculture. And that is Henry Wallace. Henry Wallace, looking at Washington Kawa and his passion for agriculture, he also developed passion for agriculture and love for agriculture. So after completing his B.S. Agriculture, he left Alabama University, went back, but he didn't take up a professional agriculture. He took to politics. Henry Wallace took to politics and he went on to become the vice president of United States of America. But his passion for agriculture did not die. At that time, wheat and maize were very important crops were suffering from yield losses and all that due to drought. So he wanted to establish a center and for that center, he wanted a very good scientist who can come and lead the program there. So he handpicked a person called Norman Borlaug. He handpicked him and brought him, made him the head of the center, and asked him to lead the program. And this Naman Podla developed wheat varieties, semi-dwarf wheat varieties. And those semi-dwarf wheat varieties developed in Mexico and United States of America were recognized by a scientist in India at that time who was director general of ICAR. And that man's name was Dr. M.S. Swaminathan. And he brought those varieties to India and he gave demonstrations in Punjab, Haryana and Western UP. And those demos revealed that the yields can go up by five times. And Punjab and Haryana farmers, they loved it. They wanted these seeds. So with the help of the government, C. Subramanian was the Minister for Agriculture at the time, they imported tractors, ship loads, ship loads of these seeds. And Punjab and Haryana and UP farmers, they grabbed these seeds with both hands and they went for it. And that happened in 1960s. And because of which, what we got? Harit Kranti, the Green Revolution. In 1966, high yielding varieties were developed and we got Green Revolution. Kahani kaha shuru 1860. Result jo Harit Kranti roots kaha hai dekhenge to South Sal ke pahale Ocean se cross, continents apart, a choti si American gaume, that day, that small act of kindness of that white couple in saving that baby, 
in saving that baby ultimately showed the result 100 years later in a country like India and Pakistan which has helped Naman Borla get Nobel Prize for peace my dear friends everything you do matters whatever you are doing also matters sometimes what you are doing you may not be able to see immediately you may not be knowing you may not be seeing the impact happening immediately if you are able to see it it's much better much great but sometimes you may not be knowing because of your work some farmer is benefited and that some farmer's son goes to school and he performs well and he went on to become an IAS officer he became a district collector and he did something in that district and because of which something happened because of that millions of people got benefited but if you look at the root cause that day that small act of thing that you did that you did you might have forgotten the names of all those farmers you met and worked with but some of those people whom you help they remember you by your face they remember you by your name aapke naam lene wale log hain aapki madad se jo fayda mila wo log jo aapke naam lene wale hai ya nahi hai there so many people so many people my dear friends your work matters a lot you doing a wonderful job you are helping people because of your work in Veda Sando, some farmers who are now who are reeling a small kapda hiya, thoda kuch, abhi dhoti pahen rahe hai. They are wearing a white dhoti, white shirt because of you. Because of you. And they are able to send their children to a better school because of you. Yes or no?